show that the relation r defined in the set a of triangles as r is equal to t1 comma t2 such that t1 is similar to t2 is equivalence relation and also consider three right angle triangles t1 with sides 3 4 5 t2 with the sides 5 12 13 and t3 with the side 6 8 10 which triangles among t1 t2 and t3 are related so given set a it's a set of all triangles say t1 t2 t3 and so on it's a set of triangles and r is given a relation defined on set a as t1 comma t2 such that t1 is similar to t2 we know that two triangles are similar as per the definition of similar triangles two triangles are said to be similar if their angles are corresponding angles are equal corresponding angles equal and sides are proportional Our corresponding sides are proportional okay here <coughs> to uh, check this relation is equivalence relation first we shall go with reflexive and we know that every triangle is similar to itself every triangle is similar to itself therefore we can say as per the definition of reflexive for every a belongs to a for every a belongs to a a comma a must belongs to the relation r so for every triangle we can say that it is similar to itself means for every t1 belongs to a we can say that t1 comma t t1 t1 comma t1 belongs to the relation r because every triangle is similar to itself and hence we can consider that relation r is reflexive and coming to the second one symmetric let's prove for symmetric The definition of symmetric condition for symmetric is if a comma b belongs to r then b comma a belongs to r where a and b belongs to the set so now here let us consider t1 comma t2 belongs to r which implies that t1 is similar to t2 so one triangle is similar to the other triangle we can also say that the second triangle is similar to the first triangle so which can be considered to be t2 comma t1 belongs to r so and hence we can say that r is symmetric now we shall prove for transitive So condition for transitive if a comma b belongs to r and b comma c belongs to r then we need to prove her a comma c belongs to r so let us consider 
let t1 comma t2 t1 comma t2 belongs to relation r and also t2 comma t3 also belongs to r then so when t1 comma t2 belongs to r we can say t1 is similar to t2 and t3 t2 comma t3 is belongs to r means t2 is similar to t3 so when one triangle the first triangle is similar to the second triangle these two triangles are similar and the second triangle is similar to the third triangle and hence we can also say that the first triangle is also similar to the third triangle the first one second one similar second and third similar so one and three is also similar so we can say that from this both t1 is similar to t3 that is t1 comma t3 belongs to the relation r hence we can say r is transitive so clearly r is reflexive symmetric and transitive therefore relation r is an equivalence relation therefore r is an equivalence relation and we need to consider three triangles with the sides 3 4 5 5 12 13 and 6 8 10 now triangle t1 with the sides 3 4 5 it's a Pythagorean triplet it's a right angle triangle you can say and T2 is also given 5 12 13 it's also the same T3 is given 6 8 and 10 third measurement 6 8 and 10 is given so all the three are right angle triangles they are right angle triangles so among these three triangles only two triangles are related to each other since related to the sides according to the definition of similar triangles corresponding angles must be equal and corresponding sides are proportional so if you see for the third t1 and t3 t1 and t3 we can say that 3 upon 6 is same as 4 upon 8 is same as 5 upon 10 which is equal to 1 by 2 so we can say sides of t1 and t3 sides of t1 and t3 are proportion are proportional and since the triangle are right angle triangles angles and about the sides are proportional for t1 and t3 and hence we can say that t1 is related to t3 so t1 t3 are related okay